Hello everybody and welcome to this new episode of your weekly program Games and Names. Our sport today is squash and our guest is Omar El Borolosi, the former champion of the world. So if you want to know more about his squash career, stay with us. Can you please introduce yourself? Uh, Omar Burudlosi, uh, I'm 37 years old, uh, former uh, world team champion. Uh, I'm uh, founder and owner of the Burudlosi Squash Academy uh, in Wadi Degla Club. Uh, I'm the squash director in, in Wadi Degla currently. Uh, and uh, I still play uh, <laughs> in, the, in the Masters uh, tournament. Okay. Uh, when uh, did you start playing squash and why did you choose uh, squash in the first place? Uh, my uncle used to play squash uh, in Maadi club when I was very young. Uh, I first started uh, to play swimming in, in Maadi club and then uh, I went with my uncle and uh, I played with him when I was five or six years old and I liked the game and, and I started from there. And I stayed in Maadi club till I was uh, 12 or 13 years old and then I moved to Gezira uh, club where I had all, all my professional years and, uh, and all my career there in Gezira. Okay, well, what exactly did you uh, love about squash back then more than other sports? Uh, it was it, it was and still is very entertaining for me. The squash is one of the one of the sports that uh, that uh, it has many variations. Uh, it has the, the physical uh, part. Uh, all your body uh, works, and you need to train all your body to, to play good to be a good squash player. Uh, the court, uh, like the court with the four walls, it has many angles, many many shots. Uh, not like like in tennis, you only have uh, two options. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, in playing straight or cross court in squash you have many angles you can hit the side wall you can it's it's a very entertaining game and very quick game uh, very nice to watch and very exciting to to play as well okay uh, tell me about your first uh, championship uh, what did you do back then and how did you feel uh, when i was very young I, I started playing tournaments when i was 10 years old uh, I was very young at this time and used to, to lose and, and cry after the match, uh, like most of the kids, <laughs> like my son does now, actually. Uh, and then I started uh, playing better and started winning when I was 11. My first win in Egypt was the, the Egyptian national tournament under 12 years old. That was my first uh, tournament to win, win the first place. Mm -hmm. uh, I was very excited. Uh, and then I won all the Egyptian tournaments uh, in all age groups, under 14 and under 16 and then under 19, and I, I kept winning after this. Uh, my first international win was the Arab tournament uh, under 16, and I was still 13 at this time. And then I started winning the tournaments in England and in Europe, and, and all my, my career continued. Uh, after this, uh, winning the tournament is it's it's, it's very exciting and, and give you a, a very good motivation to continue. <coughs> it's it's uh, the main the main benefit is is to continue after after winning. You feel the excitement and you feel the the, the happiness and and, uh, and satisfaction after having the win. Mm -hmm. So you continue training. Uh, you push yourself harder, 
and, and, you, and you move on and it's, it's, it's the best uh, motivation. When exactly was the turning point in your life when you uh, decided to uh, play squash uh, professionally? Uh, I st it was uh, still in my junior years when I was uh, 17. I started playing professional tournaments when I was still uh, 17 just to get experience, not, not, not uh, for the idea of uh, becoming a professional, but just to get a good experience and playing uh, better matches because I was already uh, number one in, uh, in Europe and in the world under, under 19 in the, in the rankings. Uh, I used to win mo most of my, my tournaments, so, I, so there was the idea of playing professional tournaments to get more competition and, uh, and play better matches and, uh, mm -hmm. and raise my, my level. So I started playing on the professional circuit when I was 17 uh, and when I was uh, 19 I was already in the, in the top 50. So this gave me a lot of motivation to continue playing professionally after I finished the, the junior years. Uh, but I kept playing and studying at the same time. Uh, I used to study engineering in the American University in Cairo. Uh, so I kept studying, doing my studies and playing on the professional circuit uh, till I was uh, 23, till I gra graduated from the engineering and then after this I decided not, not to work 
in, in the engineering field and, and start uh, playing squash full time. This is m the real professional life started in the year 2000 when I was uh, 24 years old and started playing squash professionally. Uh, I used to play in, um, in the professional in, in the Dutch league in, in Holland. Uh, I played for five years there. It was the, the best and uh, strongest league in the world. Uh, I was the first Egyptian to uh, to play there in, uh, internationally mm. in, uh, in a foreign league and in the Dutch league. Uh, and I used to play uh, tournaments uh, all over the world. So I used to spend most of the time outside Egypt from the year 2000 till, till I retired in uh, the year 2007. Mm -hmm. And uh, when was your first contact with the national team? Uh, the national, I was always in the national junior team when I was a junior. Uh, I played uh, two world championships under 19 uh, in 1992 and we came in fourth place. And then uh, I was the captain of the Egyptian team in uh, 1994 where we won the, the world championship, the world team championships for the first time in Egyptian history. Uh, and then I moved to the senior, I was already, when I was a junior, I was already in the senior team, in the professional team. Like I, I represented Egypt in, in, the, in the men team in 93 when I was still uh, a junior. I played five world team championships, uh, which is like 10 years because it's every two years. So mm -hmm. I stayed on the Egyptian national team uh, for 10 years. Uh, also till I retired and one of the five in all the five team championships uh, we came in the top four positions in the world and one of them was winning the tournament for the first time in uh, 1999 which was uh, one of the best uh, moments of, of my career mm -hmm. winning the world championships in 1999 <laughs> Can you give us uh, an idea about the history and background of uh, squash? Of, of my career or of the squash as, of a, the squash as a sport? As as a sport, sport. Yeah. Uh, it was invented in... Uh, it's quite funny because it was invented uh, mostly in, in the prison because it, the, the prisoners used to play in... Uh, in it was back in England in the 19th uh, century. Uh, prisoners used to play uh, uh, with a ball, with uh, hit the ball against the wall just to entertain themselves and then started from there and it moved to, to the uh, like private schools uh, in England as well. Mm -hmm. uh, they used to play like with a ball, uh, hitting the ball against the wall and then they, th they started to do like uh, wooden rackets to, to, to hit the ball instead of hitting it with, the, with their hands and it mm -hmm. started uh, from there, from, uh, from uh, England and then it was moved with like the British uh, 